It is March 3rd, and I've got some planting to do. Now I've got some of these long bean Chinese red noodles. I don't know if I'm gonna, I just dropped one, be able to get to these today, and I'll show you why. <laughs> it's been so hot in the greenhouse that I had to take the borage out, or borage, how it's pronounced. I always call it borage, but anyway. <laughs> it's doing a lot better outside. And the zinnias really took a hit. They did not like the heat. Everything else is doing good and fine. And I have to, today is a cooler day, 65, I think, outside. So it shouldn't be that warm. I don't need to open the door today. <laughs> Maru! Okay, good. I don't want her going over to the pond. She gets so messy. Are you gonna come in here? She doesn't really like coming in. I got some more sunflowers popping up here. And this is something I did, haven't told y'all about yet. I went ahead and planted all my okra. So you see this is it popping up here. Now, I've been able to transfer a lot of my peppers and then my eggplants. <laughs> They're pretty. If you see here, I am running low on pots. And I forgot that I'm going to also be doing peanuts, a bunch of them, and also some soybeans. And I want to start those in containers, and that's what I did last year, and it worked very well. My beans, I'm going to be doing this variety this year. I did the Blue Lake, I think, last year, and I had to plant them at least three times around my teepee because they kept just rotting because it was so moist. So this year I'm going to be starting my beans in containers as well my actual climbing beans. I wasn't sure what to do if I should just chance it and put put the peanuts straight out into the ground and just know that I'll probably lose some. But Nate was sweet. He was like, no, just go ahead and get more pots and more, I guess, what do you call those, trays. So I did. I, pot, I ordered, I guess yesterday, last night, ordered over 400 more pots and 30 trays and I got the pink trays and the colorful pots which I'm kind of excited about. I, I wish they had just the green colored pot because those are those are my colors pink and green but I think it's gonna be fun. That way I have plenty of pots to do all the peanuts that I want to grow so we'll probably do those next week but today I don't think I'll be getting to the beans but if I can at least get to the squashes that I'm gonna be planting you see Lily really wants to do the loofah. I'm going to be putting this on one of my first arches, I think, and I was realizing, you know, I'm going to need to do another arch because this Odessa is also a climber. I guess I don't technically need to put it on an arch, but I think I'd prefer to, so we'll see. This weekend, Nathan and I are going to go to Tractor Supply and get the rest of the cattle panels that we need to finish up my garden. So that is gonna be exciting. Okay, let's get planting. Oh, by the way, so I'm gonna be doing this watermelon. It's called a sangria and it is a hybrid. I collected these seeds from a sangria watermelon that I bought last year from one of our local farmers here. And I was asking him because he always comes with these huge truckloads of beautiful watermelons, what his trick is with watermelons because I've not had success with those yet. And he asked me, well, are you planting them in full sun? And I was like, yeah, they're in full sun. He says, don't do that. <laughs> so this year, I am found an area in my garden that I'm, where I'm going to be planting my watermelons, where they get a good amount of morning sun, but by the time in the afternoon when it, the heat really sets in, it's shady. Because I've been having issues with my watermelons exploding. So we'll try that out. I'm going to do this one to the Georgia rattlesnake. Since the Sangria watermelon is a hybrid and I collected seeds from it, it's not going to be like the Sangria <laughs> that I collected seeds from. It's going to have characteristics of the mother and father plant. We'll see what we get. It will be a bit of a surprise and it will be next to this Georgia rattlesnake. So if I collect seeds from it, I'll get some sort of hybrid mixture between the two. <laughs> so let's get plants in here. We'll see how far we get. We ended up having to process the two smaller toms. Not because the toms were getting too rough with each other, but because they were getting too rough with the females. They were 
all three toms were trying to mate with one hen at once and obviously that's not okay and I really worried that the hen was gonna get hurt or possibly killed so we went ahead and processed the two younger ones and we decided to grind up the meat with my KitchenAid grinder and it worked really well and we went ahead and canned it so now I have a bunch of ground up turkey meat that we can use. Now with all the bones and things that was left over, I went ahead and put that in a big old pot and I simmered it for days. And it made this beautiful, rich, creamy stock. I was able to stock up my pantry again, which is great. Now the hens aren't getting all beat up and Tom Selleck out there has the ladies all to himself. Now turkeys are not quite as bright as chickens. Since we had to process two smaller toms, I think when they went to bed at night, the toms would go in first and then the hens would follow. Since the two littler toms are gone now, the hens don't know what to do. They just stay outside and they don't go to bed. So Nathan and I, for the past few nights, have had to go out there at night when it's dark <laughs> and catch the hens. And even lately, Tom Selleck has been a bit confused and hasn't been going in either. So who went in tonight? Just one hen. All right, all right, little hen, come on in. Go on. All right, so we got a tom and three hens out. No, two hens. So many feathers coming off, you'd think she was being killed. The frustrating thing is, I think that I'm strong enough to handle their wings, but then they start going and I'm like, nope, <laughs> nope, not happening. <sighs> Go on. Silly guys. So Nate and I have been having fun going out in there and catching a bunch of turkeys in the dark. <laughs> I'm getting whacked. I got a good scrape on my leg from just one of their wings. Nathan has to get Tom sell it for it for me because he is so huge and strong that I just can't physically pick him up and keep him pinned enough to where he's not becoming a danger because their talons are quite sharp and can be scary. I think tonight I'm gonna go ahead and order a bird net, but hopefully these guys will get with the memo here and start going back to bed again. This climbs too, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure spaghetti squash climbs. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need another arch. We'll just have to take that into account when we go get cattle panels this weekend. Let me show you something I haven't showed you yet. So these roses right here, I have not shown you these, I've really talked about them yet. These are my Albert Barbio roses. If you've been watching for a while, you know that I do have, and I've ordered Albert Barbio roses a couple times. The first time not being successful, the second time they came in just fine and looked good. But during the attack of the armadillos, you know what? That would actually be a good name for a 1960s sci-fi movie. I'm surprised they never did that. Attack of the armadillos. <laughs> I'd watch it. <laughs> anyway, during the attack of the armadillos, they also attacked my Alberic Barbio roses. I had this feeling to go out one morning I was like, you know, I need to go check on my roses and I did. And they were literally dug up, thrown, completely uprooted. And, oh, I was so sad. I was, I nurtured them back as best as I could. Only one made it. I wasn't sure if that one would even make it, but it did end up pulling through. In the meantime, the website Petals from the Past did have these guys in stock. So I went ahead and just ordered two. And here they are, and they're looking beautifully, y'all. And I was happy with the fact that these came in a gallon pot instead of such a small little pot like the other ones that I ordered. And they're looking great. So I'm gonna be putting those out here soon. And they will be climbing on my pergola over where our little cookout area is. These are the peppers that I overwintered last fall. You see, I've got two that are coming back really well. And these ones, not so much. So, the problem is, I forgot to mark them. So I don't know. These look like the Tabasco peppers to me. 
I can look back at my video and kind of get an idea that way to see which peppers I'm going to need to get. Am I going to need to get the habaneros or am I going to, or am I going to need to get the Tabasco peppers? So, but I think that went pretty well. Next year, I think what I did is I didn't water them enough. I'm not the best with potted plants, y'all. I kill a lot of them. I prefer to put things in the ground, <laughs> but I try. I think this worked out well, 50-50, you know? Two out of four. I ran out of soil before I ran out of pots. So this weekend when we go get those catapanels, I'll also get some more soil. I just realized I forgot to bring out the Long Island cheese seeds. But we'll do those in a minute. Let's plant some loofahs. Has anyone ever planted loofahs before? Kind of fun. I'm trying to decide. I think I'll do, on the arch, I'll do one on each side. So we'll do four of these guys. Hmm. They're black. That's interesting. Kind of neat. And I definitely need to mark these, otherwise I'm not going to know what's what. Doing four guys over here. I think I'll put an extra one or two just to make sure they come up. Oh, I needed to grab the Jarndale ones too, didn't I? We'll do the same with this squash, this spaghetti squash. good germination with these guys. Okay, move them over here. Let's label them. Now this Odessa squash is a zucchini. It's supposed to be a white zucchini type and of, and of course climb. Now, the picture, they don't look white at all, do they? They look yellow. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, I'm not going to be doing very many of these straight neck squash or too many zucchinis. Although, I do love making zucchini lasagna. But, we went overboard with these last year. And I still have some canned in the pantry that I don't know what I'm going to do with. We kind of got squashed out. So, not going to be doing as many. I've got to decide how many I want to do. I'll probably just do four, maybe six. I got my Long Island cheese. This is the guy that's going to go on my main large tunnel arch. And I think I'll be mixing in the borage again with my squash. I think that worked decent. I wish the borage lasted longer. It got kind of sick and died off and then I guess in the winter it started coming back. We'll see if it does any better this year. See, here's one of the drawn dowels that I planted early. Just to see. Just for fun. So I'll need to plant just a few more of these guys. And these are the ones that I was able to collect seed from last year. From those pumpkins. Maro, what are you doing? 
I really like these seeds because they're plump and fat. Oops. Well, maybe that one will pop up and I'll have a jarndo growing in my greenhouse. That happened last year. I had a pumpkin randomly growing in here. <laughs> hey, sticking in my finger. Let's do the watermelon next. Plant some of these sangrias. They're tiny. Hmm. How tiny they are. I don't have a huge area for these watermelons, so I don't think I'm gonna plant too many. Plant some of these Georgia water snakes. No, not Georgia water snakes, Georgia rattlesnakes. <laughs> Isn't it? Much bigger. Huh. How many watermelons does one plant make? I don't know. Does anybody know? I don't know. I think we're done, y'all. Guess I could get some beans started, but I don't know how many beans are in each of these packs? I'm just, I'm curious, I'm gonna look. So hopefully I got enough. There's about 40 in here. It should be enough, I think. As long as I get good germination. Well, maybe I will get some beans started. Might as well. My last bootstrap order, order it didn't take very long for it to get here. So, I'm sure it will get here pretty soon. Probably Monday. Today's Thursday, by the way. Look at these guys. See? My hydrangeas are doing really well. I've got 14 of them that made it. And I'm excited to get better at this. Be able to propagate from my own plants. So much cheaper that way, you know? All right, y'all, I'm going to get these beans planted. Well, some planted anyway. And then I'm going to catch back up with y'all on Saturday. And we'll get those cattle panels I'm excited about. You see all these cute little tadpoles? The girls found these eggs in the little pond, and they just hatched. And there's so many of them. They're so cute. gonna be another beautiful warm day and look oh my grass I'm gonna have a lawn again gotta go open up this door before we head out to get these cattle panels I'm gonna definitely need to water these real quick before we head out I see some are looking a little droopy you see by the way my bootstrap farmers pots and trays I'm supposed to get here today I was thinking they'd get here Monday, but man, they send things out quick. So that's great. I can go ahead and start. See, these little guys are going to need to go into their little own pots too. Nothing's popping up yet here. Sometimes I'm so impatient, y'all. I will actually poke at them a little. Don't follow my example. <laughs> and just go like, oh, are they doing anything? Yep, yep. Uh oh, where did I put this? It was right here, wasn't it? Hmm. Now I don't have to worry about everything getting stressed out when I'm gone today. It's getting a bit bright outside. So Nate and I are going to do a quick little walk around the garden to see how many cattle panels we're going to need. We're not quite sure. We've done this before, but we always forget. Yeah, we forget. We're not really good about writing things down, are we? Nope. We're not good list people. We just kind of wing things. Sometimes we screw up. Makes it more exciting though. <laughs> I'm gonna go on first. So how many would, would we need here? I think this one can only really take one more unless you want to change the spacing. So I'm thinking just one more there, unless we wanted to change how things are spaced, then we could put two more. You're talking about just moving the 
I see what you're saying. Move it. Yeah, down, let's just move the And arch. we can fit two here, and then we'll have five. Yes, I would like that. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> But we do have this row here that we took panels down for. That's right. So we need... That's right. We did have a panel here. Mm -hmm. We did, but then we needed it for an arch or something. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's one more panel. Okay. So we've got three. Four, five. Four. Should we write this down? Hang on a second. <laughs> did you want to make another squash tunnel anywhere? No. Okay. And then this row, yeah, this that's needed. just a three panel row, just like <clears throat> this one next to it. Okay. Paley's going to try to catch that butterfly. I've been watching her all morning. That little butterfly doing her little thing. So I decided I'm going to get some mulch and just put it right down this little section here, the bare section. And just let the crimson clover grow on the sides. I just think that would be pretty. <laughs> Trying to catch that butterfly, huh? She's pretty. I can't really hear you if you're talking to me. That's right, you're listening to music. There's <laughs> 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 some buckwheat popping up, look at that. <laughs> huh, and some sunflowers. That's cool. Huh. <laughs> All right, we gotta get going. We're going to head out and get these panels, and they're going to have to go on top of the car here. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Just going to go get those panels. I'm a bit nervous to put on top of the car, but we've done it before. Yeah, I'm nervous every single time. <laughs> We're going to get some fencing supplies too today to finish the perimeter on the fences on the pro property. we got some roses. I've been trying to find that double delight rose. I got one here one year and it ended up not being a double delight. It was some sort of red rose. I'm not seeing any though. I want to go see if they have any cute babies. I don't, oh, what was I going to say? I thought I heard some. Goodness gracious, so cute. I'm going to resist the temptation. I'm not ready for one ducks yet. I don't know where Nate went. I thought he came inside. must still be out here. Oh, look, please. It's pretty. Costa eggs being what they are, people have been snapping them up quick. That would make sense why there's no chicks right now. Mm-hmm. Where were you anyway? I couldn't find you. Well, I was out in the yard taking pictures of all the skews for the things we need to order. That way the new guy up front won't be flipping through the book for Forever. 30 minutes. That's smart. Well, this is fun. Just getting it over with. It's like um, tearing off a band aid. I'm gonna get out and help Nate. I didn't know you were all the Some men came to help, so I'm glad. I hate picking up those T posts, they hurt my hands. Bye. Feel a little extra weight in the car. Yes, definitely. Open sesame. Shouldn't it just open? It will. I just gotta get close enough. There it goes. This is when I get nervous. Let's use these blankets. Yep. Protect my baby car. The next one I'm just gonna roll up. Right. Yeah. There we go. Right. There's one. Six more to go. 
imagine we're gonna make a few people turn their heads on the way home. <laughs> Absolutely. We're not going down the freeway, that's for sure. No. I will tell you what we did years ago, and we'd probably get thrown under the jail, man, if we did it. We went down I-20 one day in a pickup. Had a sliding glass window. We had a sheep standing up in the back with his head running through the flag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now Nate's going to tie him down. And we're going to head out and get on home. Thanks for the help, fellas. Thank you. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. <laughs> oh, it's fighting. Where you going, little spider? There we go. Woohoo! Now you won't fly off and die. Alright, we're all strapped in. Ready to go? We're strapped in and ready. Alright, we're gonna meet y'all up home. I'm hoping my bootstrap order will be there when we get home, but we'll see. The, the Star of Bethlehems are blowing. Look, they're so pretty. They're actually poisonous though, and they smell like onions. But, wow! Look at them. Look at them all. I love this area of town, y'all. This is... I always drive through here when we come to town because I love the gardens. They're just beautiful. downtown Madison. It's one of the towns that Sherman didn't burn down when he came through Georgia, so all the houses are still standing. I love this old fence. Look at that, look at the fence. Oh, what blows my mind is how there are so many parts on those old fences that are crooked, and I'm like, how do you, like, there's a story behind each bent bar and somebody probably has a broken bone. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that one. That's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool looking. Look at it. <laughs> this one's pre-Civil War. It's from the 1830s. It's so pretty. Love you. Magnolia. And then this one's real pretty. I love this. This is that like the iframe style. It's gorgeous. This one I think is also pretty. Right? Yeah, this is also pre Civil War. 1839. It's right? gorgeous. I think the other one was 38 or 34. Now this one here was in a movie called Charming the Hearts of Men. They film a lot of movies in here, over here in Madison. They are redoing it, as you see which I'm so glad because it needed help. We have pillars right here. I've personally never seen that movie, but when they were filming it, we came out here and it was kind of fun. Oh, there's pretty flowers. That was fun, y'all. This is one of my favorite. Whenever we come to town, I like to go through here. It's so pretty. Now we can really go home. <laughs> Mara, what are you doing? What are you doing all the way down here, you silly girl? <laughs> no bootstrap order yet. Did I lock myself in? No, I did. <laughs> you remember this strap? Oh, how am I going to get out of here? I'm going to have to loosen the strap. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm good. You can open it. Hey, you guys. What are you doing? Hey, baby boy. Hi, Mama. Okay, come here. You're going to have to stay out of the way. Come on.
to get me some lunch. I feel better. <laughs> I got to go check on my greenhouse. It got a little warmer today than I thought, but not too bad. Got up to like 70, 71. What y'all up to? It's gonna be a long video, but I'm just so excited, you guys. I love this weather, and I feel like I just have so much to share. It's getting to that time of the year. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. And we'll see you next time. We're gonna go plant those peanuts, and I'll be able to show you all my new bootstrap farmer pots and trays. <laughs>